And a line drive to third base. <laughs> and the fans are on their feet. And it's a long drive to Oh, and he misses. And he tries again. And it's Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Hey, Luke, I'm here about a uh, disturbing the peace call. Well, let it be me. What took you so long? Yeah, take me away, lock me up, throw away the key. <sighs> well, come on, officer, do your duty. Think of it as a public service to this fine community. We gotta hold up the standards of Port Charles. What, 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 what are you trying to do here? Luke, you break into the bar you used to own, you bust up some glasses in the hopes of what, I'm gonna arrest you? It's a bar. Things get broken. Yeah, or, or this is just your bizarre way of crying out for help. Either that or you're trying to push away every last person who could possibly give a crap about you. Another line drive! You know what? Choose whatever answer suits you. And then shut your damn mouth and either arrest me or get out of my club. I've got batting practice to finish. Bottoming out for a while now, Luke. Don't you think it's time you got to the recovery part? Screw recovery. I like it down here. Hey, obviously. But uh, unfortunately, you're dragging down the rest of your family with you, namely your daughter. Hey, don't go there, officer. Why not, Luke? Is that too much truth for you to handle? Well, I'm gonna stick up for that daughter of yours because I happen to love her very much. Well, she's easy to love. But since she's been sucked into this dad's an alcoholic cult, She's forbidden to talk to me. So when you see her, tell her I said, hey. She loves you, Luke. She's running around town trying to fix something that she can't fix. And this is how you pay her back. You get drunk and you make a mess like this. Guess who's going to be the one to clean it up? Nobody. We're going to leave it just like this. I care too much about her, Luke, and she cares way too much about you. She's so caught up and trying to help you that she can't even realize the toll that it's taken on her own life. So you know what? If you're not willing to pull it together for yourself, maybe, just maybe you can consider the fact that you can pull it together for your daughter, okay? Look, I'm glad that you care for my daughter. I'm glad that you're there for her. You treat her right. But you stay out of my business, out of my face, and out of my club. You know, Lulu's always had this uh, mental block about relationships. They never last because someone always leaves. Well, it's pretty damn obvious where she gets that from. No, no, no me importa lo que te dije. Lo necesito para mañana. Llamame cuando se hace. Adiós. Is that uh, your buddy Escobar again? No. Don't, I don't really want to know. No, oh, you, know, you know, a lot of my business associates speak Spanish. <laughs> so what's going on? Is it, is it Michael again? Or what? No, Michael's fine. I'm not here about him. That's, that's fine as far as I know, anyway. Uh, I'm not here officially either, well, FYI. You don't need an excuse to stop by. You're my son. Thanks. Uh, that's... Um, it's kind of why I'm here uh, ask you a favor, son to <laughs> father. Okay. Go ahead. What do you think you need? I hope, you know. It's uh, Lulu. Yeah. Look, she's going through hell right now with, with whatever is going on with Luke. Well, it doesn't surprise me. No, me neither. But it's, it's getting bad. And he's drinking more than ever. I was just at the Haunted Star. He's drunk again. He's trashing the place again. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like he doesn't care anymore. He's just rubbing his drinking in the faces of the people who care about him most. Like Lulu? Yeah. Right. And she's trying to run around, fix everything, keep her family together, and I don't think that's going to work. No, it's not going to work if Luke doesn't want it to work. Right. Right? And from what I just saw, I don't think that's... He's going to get to that point where it is going to work anytime soon. So, uh, look, I know you already talked to Luke once. But I'm here to ask you if you wouldn't mind talking to him again. For Lou's sake.
Hey. Hey. What are you doing? You got a splinter? It's a, it's a piece of glass. It's annoying because I can feel it and it hurts, but I can't see it to get it. Ugh. Let me see. Did you run it under cold water? Yeah, but it didn't work. How do you know it's glass? Um, because I went to the Haunted Star and there was, there was glass on the floor. Batting practice? You had to respond to a disturbing the peace call. It's funny, your dad wasn't really in the mood to hang out with me. <laughs> Was he mean to you? No. Uh, whatever, I picked up the glass and I didn't have gloves on, so... Should have just waited. I should have listened. Wait, listened? Listened to what? Listen to my dad. What did he say to you? <laughs> Nothing. He just screamed at me. Oh, he never screamed at me. Like... Where? <gasps> I'm sorry. This is just... This is ridiculous. No, what? What are you talking about? It's not ridiculous. Your dad had no right to yell at you. Especially when all you were doing was trying to help. Okay? Uh, uh, really? Yeah, I mean, the I'll Let's... take your advice if you have something for me. I think your dad is in a really bad place right now. And I think he's gonna lash out on anyone that comes near him. I mean, he almost lost it on me today. Oh my god, I knew it. No, it doesn't matter. It didn't bother me. Like I said, I think he's in a bad place. Okay? But look, you can't take it personally. I know it's weird because you're your father, but you were just the next available target. I just think that it shocked me because he's never yelled at me like that before. No, no, ever. No. But he's not himself right now. And until he gets help, he's not gonna be himself. <laughs> then I had an argument with Lucky today because I told him that his plan to cut Dad off wasn't working and that we should reach out to him. So that was wrong and I obviously need to call him and apologize. I just, uh, I don't know, I didn't feel like tough love was... Ow! I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, but look. You got it? Yeah, of course I got it. Check your thumb, make sure it didn't okay. leave any of the piece in there. Do you want to keep it as a souvenir? <laughs> You put it in a little sliver frame or something. <laughs> My penis got me. That's good.